Welcome to the J. Gray's Report College Football Weekly Wrap-Up Week 5. Y'all know how we get it in, so let's get it in. Wrapping up the top five ball games of the weekend, so let's get right to it. Now, I know you boys iron this blue jean three-piece suit I got on, player. <laughs> Here's the problem. You can't get one of these exclusively for the J. Gray's Report. And even if you try to get one of these, you got to have a player's card in order to get one. And the only person issuing the player's card is me. <laughs> so you just going to have to look at it, Playboy. Now, let's move on to the first ball game. We got number 23, West Virginia, goes down to Norman to play number 15, Oklahoma. Now, here's the deal. OU wins this ball game 44-28-24 off of five dub turnovers by West Virginia. You can't go in the big ball game and turn the ball over. Now, here's the deal. OU's defense was suspect coming into this ball game. A couple of weeks ago against Tulsa, they gave up 603 yards to Tulsa. So everybody figured, and I figured, like I said in the preview, New one of these teams play defense, so it's going to be a track meet. You're going to swear Usain Bolt, Carl Lewis, etc. is out here running up and down the field, bruh. But that didn't happen on Saturday. OU showed up to play, or did West Virginia just show up to not play? Ed Stryker, the leader of this team, defense, this, this done had 13 tackles, two sacks, three tackles for losses, and a forced fumble. That a guy picked up and ran 40 something yards for a touchdown. Egg Striker is the real deal. Now, somebody just needs to just put tape on his mouth, keep him quiet. He always jumping out on Snapchat, going off, cussing and hollering, because the fraternity on campus, the white fraternity on campus was racist. Dude, let somebody else handle that business. You just play ball and just shut up and play ball. <laughs> Let's move on to the next ball game. Now, here's the deal we got number 13. Alabama goes down to Athens between the hedges to play number eight, Georgia. Let's move on to the next ball game. <laughs> Georgia is more rich Georgia. I tell you that all the time, dude. The curse of the spray tan got these boys. Alabama went in there and beat the brakes off these boys. Beat them 38 to 10. Now, I picked Alabama to lose this game primarily because this isn't a game that boys would think that you, you thought that the, the Georgia would lose this game. So they normally don't lose the game they're supposed to lose. They lose the game they're supposed to win. Now they go out here and completely wet the bed at the crib. Here's the deal. They panicked early on, took Grayson Lambert out of the game, put some darn named Bryce Ramsey in, threw two dub picks, then they pulled him, put Lambert back in. It was too late. Derrick Henry went in here and went to work on these boys. He had 26 k 148 yards, and, and beat the dead brakes out of him. Even Jake Coker went to work on these boys. He was 11 of 16 for 190 yards and a touchdown. Georgia is Mark Rick's Georgia. Hey, <laughs> Mark Rick need to stop playing with that spray tan, dog. They, he looked like the leprechaun, and he's getting a little light at the top. He might as well put a little bit more <laughs> spray tan at the top. <laughs> quit spending so much time in the mirror on the spray tan and develop a doggone game plan and quit doing this to the Georgia fans. The Georgia fans, now, yeah, they keep, oh, they still alive. They still alive. They can still get to the SEC championship. Yeah, they do every year. They're going to lose one ball game. They're going to win eight or nine straight, get to the SEC championship, and lose again. Because <laughs> in Georgia, is Mark Ricks, Georgia. Now, let's move on to the next ball game. Now, let's go down to the swamp. We got number three, Ole Miss. Shows up to play number 25, Florida. I told you going into this ball game. That Ole Miss is Ole Miss. No more Bo Wallace in town. They, you, you, had an, you had an anomaly last year when they were good. Ole Miss is Ole Miss. They went down there, dude. Jim McElwain went out there and did what he does. Now, you remember, Jim McElwain is the cat that cursed Kelvin uh, Taylor out, Fred Taylor's son, a couple of weeks ago for doing like this. That, hey, Charlie Stroll, you need to go down to... <coughs> Go down to Florida 
hang out with McElwain and learn how to cut some boys out quit being so nice. Can you imagine if a dub was in the locker room at halftime at Florida tweeting, talking about he want to transfer? <laughs> McElwain, they had to call CPS to get McElwain off a of boy. <laughs> Charlie Strong. Learn how to cuss a boy out. Learn how to jump on a boy. You won't have fools in the locker room on their dog on cell phone tweeting that you getting blasted by 37 points at halftime. Now, here's the deal. 20 guys on Florida's team had the stomach virus all week, including the, the freshman Will Greer. This down went out there and still threw four touchdowns in the first half of this ball game. Stop talking to me about Mississippi. Don't say nothing else about the Grove for the rest of the season. Let's not talk about Mississippi till like 2018, bro. Say nothing else about it. Let's move on to the next ball game. We got Mississippi State, number 21, Mississippi State, going down to Cal Field to play number 14, Texas A&M. Now, Texas A&M has the explosive offense ran right by my man Kevin Sumlin. Now, Cal Allen. Went to work on these boys. Had 322 yards, two touchdowns, and he carried for another 12 times for 65 yards. He hit my man Josh Reynolds seven times for 141 yards. The offense is ridiculous. These boys stay undefeated, doing what they do. That Prescott, to some degree, got shut down. He, he was 20 or 34, 210 yards, no touchdowns in the air. He had one touchdown on the ground, and he had 96, 96 yards on 18 carries. However, Without that Prescott going to work, Mississippi State is Mississippi State. Start Vegas again is going bankrupt. For, hey, let's do this. For the rest of the season, I don't hear nothing about any team from Mississippi. I don't care we're talking about Ole Miss, Mississippi State, Tougaloo, Jackson State, Russ, <laughs> Mississippi Valley State. Matter of fact, put all them guns on one team and we'll have the Mississippi Mass football team and then they can have the Mississippi Mass choir be the band for them. <laughs> Don't say nothing else about Mississippi football for the rest of the year. I'm sick and tired of hearing you boys trying to fool me and tell me that they playing football in Mississippi because they ain't. Let's move on to the next ball game. Now, we got number six, Notre Dame goes down to Death Valley. In a monsoon <laughs> to play number 12, Clemson. Now, remember I told you in, in the in the pre in the pregame, in the preview, that the leprechaun was gonna try to go down there early and steal Howard's rock. Somebody heard me on this joint and alerted the police and they arrested that gun on the outstanding warrant in Walmart. <laughs> Leprechaun didn't even make it to the stadium, dog. He in South Carolina at Walmart trying to get some deodorant for the game. <laughs> and got arrested. Notre Dame goes into this ball game, plays well. But the dog on four turnovers in the second half kills these boys. You can't turn the ball over in big ball games like this, bro. Notre Dame won the game statistically. In terms of stat, they had 20, 20 first down versus 15. They had 437 yards. Versus 296. Town possession was easy, was even. Difference in the ball game was the four turnovers in the second half. And then Deshaun Kaiser, the black Dutchman, or German, whichever you're more comfortable with, still had an opportunity to win the ball game with a two-point conversion at the end of the game, seven seconds left, and then they got stopped. But the reason that they kept turning the ball over, the leprechaun had all the stickum in his pocket when he got arrested. <laughs> And wouldn't nobody go over to the county jail and get to get that done out. <laughs> so he got to stay in jail till Monday. He not even going to get back with the with the team. He got to ride private jet back. You know, know the day ain't going to send the dog on post airplane over there to pick him up. <laughs> <laughs> this is your man, Jay Graves Report. From the jgravesreport.com. And you can hit me up on Twitter at jgravesreport so you can holler at your boy.